Hello YouTube. Well, scientists claim that mushrooms use about 50 words to communicate with each other. In response to mechanical and chemical effects, mushrooms exchange electrical impulses with each other. Their language surpasses European languages in morphological complexity. Not only people have languages, the vocabulary of dolphins reaches 14,000 sound signals, whistles, screams, clicks. Kanzi, the chimpanzee, used several thousand words in Yorkish, a specially created intermediary language, in a com communication with researchers. In 1973, Austrian scientist Carl Frisch received the Nobel Prize for the discovery of the language of bees. Performing a special dance, the bees tell each other uh, the exact coordinates of the deposit of nectar, the quality and quantity of the flower product. Ants have their own language. They communicate by releasing odorous chemical words, pheromones, but no one expected much talkativeness, conversations from mushrooms. All the more surprising are the results of the study by Andrew Adamaki, professor of the Laboratory of Unconventional Computing at the University of the West of England. The scientist was interested in the ability of mushrooms to generate electrical vibrations, which were transmitted to neighbors via an underground signal network through the threads of a common mycelium. Mycelium is a root-like structure of a fungus consisting of a mass of branching, thread-like hyphae. A hyphae is a long branching filamentous, uh, like filaments, structure of a fungus. In most fungi, hyphae are the main mode of vegetative growth and are collectively called a mycelium. Fungal colonies composed of mycelium are found in and on soil and many other substrata. Such peak fluctuations of electrical potential, as the mushrooms have shown, usually accompany the excitation of a nerve and muscle cells. What if these signals are some kind of analog of human language? The scientists decided to test the hypothesis that mushrooms can use electrical activity to communicate. To interpret electrical signals, Adamaki applied mathematical methods that were successfully used to decipher Pictish writing. The Picts are a Celtic people who lived in Scotland during the early Middle Ages. They left behind Pictish stones, huge upright megaliths covered with intricate patterns. But after analyzing the ornaments of the Picts, scientists concluded that these are not drawings but words, because the size, order, and frequency of the use of symbols corresponded to linguistic rules. The lang language system has many signs but by which it can be recognized. Professor Adamaki recorded the electrical activity of mushrooms using needle electrodes. Mathematical analysis of the results revealed patterns that have a surprising similarity with the structure of human language. Electrical impulses form characteristic repeating chains in which letters, words, and sentences can be distinguished. The most erudite mushrooms can use 50 words in the lexicon, but most often they have enough for them vocabulary of 15 to 20 words that are enough to communicate with their fellow fellow intelligent fungi. Uh, fungi. Four species participated in the experiment. Winter mushrooms or Inokai flamulina velutip, velutipis. The mushroom is popular in Japanese cuisine but is also sold in Russian supermarkets. Ghost mushroom 
Omphalotus nidiformis, a poisonous mushroom, some varieties can be confused with chanterelles. Split gill fungus, um, Schizophyllum commune, it is not poisonous, but it also has no culinary value. Caterpillar fungus, or Cordyceps militaris, it is credited with magical healing properties. It is curious that mushrooms differ from each other in linguistic abilities. So, number one, split gill fungus turned out to be the champion in the complexity of the generated sentences, and caterpillar fungus the honorable second place in this category. Two, ghost mushrooms and split gill fungus have the largest vocabulary. The lexicon of caterpillar fungus and winter mushroom um, was more modest. 3. The longest words, 8 to 9, let's call them letters, are in the arsenal of caterpillar fungus and poisonous ghost mushroom uses the shortest, um, about 3.3 letters, words, the shortest words. On average, the length of a mushroom word is 5.97 letters. This corresponds to the standard in some human languages, 4.8 in English and 6 in Russian. Okay? It is quite logical to assume that it will be easier for Russians and mushrooms to understand each other. No wonder it was in Russia that the proverb was born endowing mushrooms with human features or traits. And th this is how it goes. In Ryazan, mushrooms are with eyes. People eat them and they look. Ryazan is a city in Russia. So people eat mushrooms who look at them <laughs> during the process. Well, what can mushrooms talk about? According to Professor Adamaki, the most likely topics of mushroom conversations are the physiological state of the mycelium, environmental conditions, as well as the presence or absence of nutrients. And it is quite possible that this is a kind of roll call of mushrooms among themselves, a kind of analog of howling of wolves, which does maintain the integrity of the pack and the strength of the ranks. The author of the scientific work sums it up. We are still at the beginning of the journey and we should not expect quick results. We have not yet deciphered the language of cats and dogs despite the fact that we have been living next to them for centuries. Research on the electrical communication of mushrooms is in its infancy. It cannot be ruled out that bursts of electrical activity of fungi may receive alternative interpretations unrelated to language, but it is absolutely certain that these electrical sig signals are not a random event. This is very interesting. To me, first of all, when I was a schoolboy in the Soviet Union, I think about 10, 11 years old, we were given a school project um, <clears throat> and I had to write a science, science fiction story, and I did about a Spanish conquistador who gets lost in Florida Everglades and finds himself in the territory of the intelligent and speaking mushrooms. I like this story very much. I have not saved it, uh, but uh, I never will forget this. And I happen to be in Florida many years later doing research on some very interesting ancient civilization and paranormal phenomena, I mentioned some of it, mostly in the Gulf of Mexico. So, you know, to me, I was able to get to Florida, but I didn't find those mushrooms. Anyway, um, living in Ukraine and having been to other places in the Soviet Union, and, you know, especially in, in the uh, villages and um, rural areas, people know more than the city dwellers when it comes to nature. I've heard interesting stories about mushrooms as well. And uh, one day I'll share such stories and, and others with you. But that's what I wanted to let you know today. It's a very interesting research and I hope to see more, more of it. Uh, if you like my research, please support me through the links found in the description to this channel. 
please and to, to this video and please like my channel and um, my videos uh, please let others know about it uh, please subscribe and i hope to bring you more interesting stories soon thank you